Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, what's up everybody? It's HTG Brian here. Today we have another LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens video for you. This one happens to be Takodana Free Room. And by the looks of it, we're going to be pretty busy as we see there are 35 total gold bricks that we're going to get throughout this area. And uh, we're going to break those down into eight carbonites, a couple of general missions, a couple of races. Ooh, looks like we got a couple of other first order resistance type stuffs too. We'll go ahead and knock those out. Don't worry about the colors or anything. We tried to color coordinate those with the actual quick links and speaking of which we have quick links down below in the video description that'll help you get through to all of the collectibles in this area so here we are at the galaxy map we're gonna go ahead and leave old Jakku and head off to Takodana and here we are we have arrived now keep in mind this video has been sped up ever so slightly and all loading scenes and non-relevant content has been removed so Oh, to the yeah, let's go ahead and target our first collectible and let's get to get in. All right, so here we go. We got we got this X-Wing on the back side over in the corner over here. There's a couple of boxes that need to be butt slammed. Once we have those bricks able to build, we'll build up a BB-8 rotary panel here. We got to switch to the old round hound and get on down. That's right. We're going to actually move this X-Wing. We're going to pull it with this little rope and toe there. And look at that. We I don't know why he's happy about that. We basically crash landed his X-Wing. I, I, at the same time, though, it looks like he was high centered. So... We have freed him, and he has given us our first gold brick. So that means we are off and running next up. You know, and if you're unfamiliar with our videos, we're going to go ahead and check out the map and target each location or quest, and we'll head on over and get her done. So check it out. This one happens to be a translate mission, which does require the use of a specific type of droid. In this case, we have used C-3PO. Uh, we've actually used the new version with the red arm, as you can see. He's quite stylish. And yes, he translates that for us, tells us what we need to do, and it turns out we actually need to protect him from these bad guys. So we'll go ahead and get our cha 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 on here. And well, we got to wait just a second. There's a little bit of, uh, you know, babble that goes on here. And wait for it, wait for it. They don't like what he says here in a hot second. Oh, oh. First order's critical weakness. Uh oh. Yep, that's right. He does not like that. ruh -roo. And look at that. He runs off and leaves us to take on the bad guys. And so we'll go ahead and switch to somebody who can get his flame on real quick. That's right. Boom. That was quick and easy, huh? And we all jump for joy. And luckily for us, this flame trooper is on our side, huh? All right. Next up, the first race. Ooh, it's a race. I hope I win. This one's actually fairly easy. It does require a spawning of a micro fighter vehicle. So feel free to choose your vehicle of choice. We actually use the uh, speeder bike, which I don't believe is necessary. There are a few races that do require certain vehicles or micro fighters. I know that uh, one of the races later does require Ray's Speedster. So we'll have to uh, use that one, but our speeder, speedster, I don't remember what it is. It's one of the one of the speedy types as we crash into just about everything we can physically find. Oh, look at that, another rock. But look at that, we have finished a race, and speaking of rock, we're out on this weird island out here. So we'll take a quick peek on the map, which again, I wish we could do while we were on a micro fighter, just saying. And it turns out there's a race and a gold brick out here. So we'll go ahead and knock out the gold brick. Now, there's also a ton of characters that you can purchase, but there's no need to purchase them by walking up to them. You can actually purchase all the characters right from the character selection grid there. And booyakasha, we have melted a gold statue and retrieved the gold brick as our prize. And a uh, quick little note there, there are quick links down below in the video description. Feel free to use those. Maybe you're looking for carbonite bricks or something like that. Go ahead and click those one by one and make it to one you need. And all right, so this one here actually does require Ray Speeder. But if, if you notice, there's no actual starting point yet. So this is kind of a case, or at least we believe it to be, another case of having to complete other races or quests and uh, in a certain order. So it turns out we've gotten the first race done. We need to complete race number two before race number three will pop up, which that happens to be race number three, or at least that's the way we understand it as we do complete another race here in a little bit. And then all of a sudden that, that race we were just at that wasn't there just magically appears. So 
we've gone back to where we kind of started because that that first race took us way off onto that island. Now we've returned to kind of the starting point and we have started this BB-8 challenge, which you're only going to get this done if you <laughs> kind of lean forward and just go for it. You got to use the old, uh, I guess it's the speedy or I, I don't know, the run button. You, you just you duck and cover is what you do and you roll on through just about anything in your pathway. Now, the only thing that stops you is stairs and hills. Otherwise, you pretty much plow through just about anything. But there are 36 total canisters you need to take out. And we are missing just one. Where is it at? There it is. Woohoo! All right. So, worst case scenario, you don't get it completed in the time frame. You get to start all over. That's, that's absolute worst case scenario. So, for us, we got it in one. We didn't even have to do any fancy editing. All right, next up is another gold brick. This one's kind of confusing as the arrow points right in the middle there, but it's actually related to these five, I don't know what you want to call them. They're kind of like podiums, but they're not quite complete. Um, whoops, 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 sorry, I didn't mean to do that. We were trying to hit the old uh, attack and uh, whoops, whoopsie. But uh, yeah, so what you need to do is smash and rebuild these, I don't know, columns, podiums, whatever you want to call them. There are five of them scattered throughout the area. As you can see, the first three are right on the front right-hand side, all in kind of a cluster here. And watch out, buddy's chasing me. Ooh. The next one's right in kind of the middle left. As you can see, we just knocked that one out right now. And the final one is all the way over on the far left, kind of front corner once you come through that weird broken down doorway there. And booyakashow, there she is. And we built it up. And that's odd that he's holding a popsicle. It's kind of warm there, doesn't it seem? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe the forecast is, uh, <laughs> I don't know. All right, here we go. We're going to move along here. Next up, we have ourselves a gold brick. It's kind of weird because if you looked at the actual uh, map there, and even right now, it shows a general mission icon, right? You see that? Is that little character with a little stud-like thing above him? Yeah, it's totally a general mission. But at the end of this, you'll see it does not actually say general mission. It just gives us credit for a gold brick. So we've noticed a couple of those things. Uh, I, I don't know if I'd call them mishaps or mistakes, but... Uh, you know, maybe they intended it to be that way, <laughs> but it certainly makes it confusing for those of us who are looking for a specific like mission type or, you know, like in this case, that was labeled as a general mission, but it's only going to count as a gold brick. So luckily for us, it doesn't uh, not count as a general mission. and We're not short a general mission, if that makes any sense. I'm just kind of generally flapping on here. But uh, what I'm saying is. If you follow along and complete all of the objectives that we have in this video, you should not be missing any regardless of what they're labeled. So take out all of those fighter ships and all of a sudden we will return right back to where we started and we will be rewarded. But wait for it. Watch this. It's not going to say general mission. It's going to say gold brick. And there it is. See? told you they they didn't sneak in the little blue general mission icon so we did not count it as that even though it started off as a general mission and hey look at this he's he's not mad at us anymore he's like hey well, friends can be friends huh i don't i don't know that was <laughs> Move, moving along it, it's it's uh it's been a long day how about that i'll, I'll blame it on the day but uh, right around the corner, we have this little wall that we can actually rip through with a lightsaber. So we'll go ahead and choose Ray in this case. You could use anybody who wields a lightsaber to rip through that. And go ahead and get inside and collect your carbonite brick. Speaking of which, there's another one right here. And there was a reason we used Ray. It just so happens that we need to use her staff and her wall climbing agility ability. And here we go. We've made it all the way up top. And there is, yes, another carbonite brick. So we're going to do a backflip to go ahead and pick it up. How about that? Look what I can do. <laughs> all right. Next up, gold brick. This one would be really nice if we could jump over this edge right here. But there seems to be an invisible wall. So we're going to have to drop down below after I fail a couple times trying to get over there. And we'll uh, we actually find some handhelds on the wall that we can use to climb up and get up to this peak point where the gold brick is. And then we can slide on down the little slide there. It's got a little rock slide. So it's kind of cool. It's not cool because it was formed out of destruction. But it's cool because it's fun to ride. Oh, watch out. Better spam that button. Spam, 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 spam. All right, we jump all the way across, and we'll jump and ready for it. Here we go. Wee! It's kind of more of a slippery slide than it is the an actual butt slide, but hey, we'll take it. Next up, another carbonite brick. So we're knocking these guys out. I think there's, what, 10 total throughout this area? I, 
my notes are hidden right now, so I, I can't see. But this one's one of the easiest ones of them all. Simply run up to the top of the stairs and stand on the switch with one of your characters, and then simply switch to your other character. It doesn't matter who you are. You can be the round hound, Kylo Ren, or anybody. It doesn't matter. And now we've got it, so we can go ahead and move along. We've targeted the next objective here, which happens to be another translate mission. So we'll pull out old 3PO one more time, as this is the final translate mission for the area. And, of course, we got some alien speech and then some translation. And then, of course, we accept the mission. And, uh, yeah, I, this one here, I don't quite remember what we got to do here. Uh, oh, yeah, we have to go and uh, we have to go find something for him. We have to go run off and we have to follow the old blue stud trail. Woohoo! Did you see, see me get excited there? So some of these missions that, that are like quests like this that you have to go find things, there will be an area that actually is highlighted like by a green circle or something on the map. In this particular case, there is not that. You just have to follow the old stud trail. So, you know, then they should make, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I guess they probably don't do that. I was going to say they should make the stud trail yellow. All the studs, you know, follow the yellow stud trail, follow the yellow brick road, you know. But uh, I know it's not, they could have done that in Lego Dimensions, I guess, since we had some uh, Wizard of Oz type stuff in there. And I get why they don't do it here, too, just because of the fact that, um, you know, well, we already have gold studs. And that might be confusing, yellow studs, gold studs. Anyhow. All right, I basically killed enough time that we are at the mission's end, and all we have to do here is drop down and take out these seven stormtroopers. So nothing too ridiculously difficult. There is a heavy in here, though, so you might focus on taking him and his big old gun down first as he might do a little bit of damage on you. But once he's gone, a whole other crew comes in, and we knock them down, too. So one last guy, and ooh, he's got he's got a baton. He thinks he's tough, but we show him who's boss, and yay! We're back where we started. We've got a completed mission, and we get a go brick. Ooh, look at this. Next up, double whammy. We got a first order mission, but in order to complete it and get through to where we need to get, we actually find a gold brick along our path, too. And it actually catches me by surprise. Like, I knew it was there because I did a little bit of research prepping before I went through this. But at the same time, I didn't realize that, that it was there that it was going to be. So uh, you can see we actually have to uh, switch to a character of the first order type. So we chose FN2199. And once we've accepted the mission, we're going to follow the old blue guide stud trail. And that's going to lead us right to kind of a, a blocked path. And so we switch to the Flame Trooper to actually melt our way through. And that's when this gold brick pops up. So watch this. Like, I, I'm not even kidding. Like, I should have known it was there because I kind of knew it was there. But at the same time, I, I forgot. So uh, here we go. I melt it. And then watch me try to jump through all of the debris. And I, like, land right on the brick. And I kind of, you can see my character kind of stop. And I'm like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, you see that? See that? <laughs> All right, so we've got that gold brick. We've knocked that out of the way. And now we're just going to go ahead and finish the old first order mission, which, yeah, this dude needs a lesson on baton usage because he is not quite sure what's going on. Shockingly, he's not that good with it. <laughs> All right, I had a terrible joke. I had to cut in with an edit just in case you could tell there. But, hey, uh, moving along, there is a whole group of bad guys that we need to take out. And the Flame Trooper is proving not to necessarily be the best guy for this job here. Especially since there are guys pew-pewing from a distance there and our flame only goes so far. But I target them and I finally get through them. I kind of tried to save face here. I was going to switch characters when I should have. But one left. We'll go ahead and take him down. And then, of course, the big bad boss with the baton drops down and spins it around. Oh, he didn't shock himself that time. Look at that. Woohoo. And really, we just need to uh, take him down. So in our case, I had a special charged up there, so I went ahead and activated it. And then I just kept on camping on with my melter, and we melted his face right on down. And guess what? We pick up the object that he left behind, which I guess happens to be the baton. And look at that. Woo to the hoo. We just completed that mission, and guess what? Gold brick for me and you hoo So all right, next up, we got a couple of grapple points couple of plugs that need a grapple in, so we're going to switch to two characters who are capable of just that. 
We're going to start off with Han Solo. Hey, let's go ahead and do husband and wife here. We'll go ahead and pull out Leia. And look at them. In unison, they rip down the wall and reveal a... I almost called it a kryptonite brick. A carbonite brick. And, of course, I forgot to show you on the map, so I went ahead and showed you real quick which one we were after. And I went ahead and ducked and covered and rolled inside and grabbed that carbonite, which also revealed a gold brick. All right, so next up, we're going to go up around the top and then work our way back down. And this next particular one, yeah, I got thrown for a loop here. So I see this. I'm like, what is this? Well, I hadn't built up. That's the mission terminal that will take you to one of the missions in the area. It looks like the Crimson Story or Crimson Corsair. That's right. That's what it's called. And, okay, a couple of the Crimson Corsair characters happen to be standing right there. So uh, for a second, I thought they might have something to do with a mission that wasn't showing up or something. But it turns out <laughs> they're just feeling social and they wanted to chat. So we give them a nice little wave and we say our goodbyes and we follow the old blue guided stud trail. And it's going to take us right to the next Carbonite Brick. This one's actually pretty simple, too. We're going to run right by this race. Woohoo! And right by, oh, what, what? We got a character chasing us there, too. He must have been a for sale, a guy for sale there. Ooh, this next one. That's right. We got old Grumpy Gus taking a nap over here. And we need to use a grapple to pull the plug here. Once we do, it actually unfortunately wakes him up. And once he's up, we have to defeat him now. So look at that. He gave us a pow right in the kiss and took us out. And now we actually die a few times because he turns out to be pretty tough. But once we get him all done, we actually have to switch to a character that has the force to manipulate his bed. And for whatever reason, we have an extremely difficult time with that. And we actually show you that right now. I'm pretty sure we didn't edit this out. I, I Yep, no, we didn't. So here we go. We're going to switch to a character with the force. And for whatever reason, it's kind of a funny angle. And I can't quite get it to activate. So I'm kind of panicking at this point. I'm like, all right, why isn't it showing up? Why? All right, my switch must be. Oh, oh, there it was. Did you see it? Did you see it? So now I'm like really freaking out. I'm like, all right, I saw it. What's going on? Vader's like, all right, which way did it go? Which way did it go? He's not sure either, but we know. I take a little peek at my notes, and we know I have to manipulate this bed with the Force. I know I just saw the Force there. Oh, look at that. It was just a funny angle. Apparently, I was too close. I was unaware that there was uh, <laughs> distance restrictions uh, for the force I, I was unaware of that i didn't know that you could be too close to use the force so i guess that makes sense if you're too close to flip on a light switch why would you need the force to flip it on for you right <laughs> i don't know it's a weird principle i'm not sure i understand it but we'll go ahead and move on now and look at this we've got our next general mission we knew there was a couple of these scattered throughout so we're gonna go ahead and accept that and oh this one has to do with uncar plot and oh we get to fly some ships all right, all right, all right. We'll go ahead and take these first five objects out, and they're pretty easy as they do not return fire. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you'll have no problem taking these down. They are kind of in funny locations, so there's a couple that you might have to have a kind of a weird approach or take a special approach to. As you can see, I almost eat dirt a few times here, and I try to get fancy here and act like I know what I'm doing. But then look at that funny angle. But look at that. Oh, that's some good shooting there. Maybe my piloting skills are getting better. But after taking out the first group of five objects on the ground, we have ten flying objects. I'm not exactly sure what type of ships those are, but they're coming after us. So we got to take them on down. And so just actually just target anything with the red triangle reticle around it. And uh, once you take out all of those, it's going to go ahead and take us away, I believe. I think it takes us right on back. And we get a nice little speech and we get rewarded which, as you might have guessed, is going to be a nice, fancy gold brick. All right, come on, three to go. Ooh, did you see that fancy roll I did? That's right, I got moves. And three, two, one, booyaka shall. All right, we're going to go ahead and do a flip or two, and back. Come on, three, maybe. <laughs> Holy cow. I was wondering if we were ever getting pulled back there. Look at that. Look how happy Vader is. Again, I, you know, Vader gets a little too excited after completing these missions, especially for a bad guy. But, all right, next up, we've got another, look at this, another general mission. All right, what, 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 what you got going on? What we need to do for you, sir? Well, accept the mission. Oh, that's right. This is that we have to reenact the battle. That's right. So this is one of my least favorite things to do. I, I have to be honest. It's mainly just because of how often we get smashed and destroyed 
And, you know, we kind of get robbed a few times. I feel like we take a few of these TIE Fighters out and we don't get credit for them. Not only on this one, but in other previous and future missions that we've completed as well. So, you know, and look at that. See, I just get plowed and boom, done. And then all of a sudden I take a guy out. And, and the worst part is, is that there are multiple waves of this. That, that's the part that I don't like. So, okay, I get the first wave. It's done. Woohoo. Let's move. Oh, oh there's more. Oh, okay. So th these are not as difficult because they don't move. They're kind of standing. <laughs> so th th this, I guess I shouldn't complain about. But I just, for some reason, I just feel like there needs to be like a, a big bada boom weapon that I can like target once, charge up and shoot them or something instead of like 10 minutes worth of pew, 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 pew. Oh, I got you. Next up. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, I got you. They seem to be going a little faster. But look, I seem to die so much faster than them. See, uh, so, all right. Rant over. Let's move on. We got three left of these TIE Fighters. Once we get these guys, I believe that's it. See, look. <laughs> uh, I know I told you my rant was over, but come on. Come on. I guess you got to sneak up from behind them where they can't shoot you, and that's probably the best bet. But, all right, maybe one day I'll take part in an epic battle that takes forever to take one guy down, too. <laughs> that's not what he said, but it, I was improvising. All right, again, Vader, way too excited. Tone it down a little bit, buddy. Next up, we got ourselves a scavenger mission. There's a whole pile of guys standing over there ready to be purchased. But again, uh, feel free to spend the money and grab those guys as we go. Or we're going to grab them all at once towards the end and kind of check off and see how much money it takes to buy them all. That's kind of kind of got me curious on how much money. We've already bought like two or three characters, but we haven't bought any others. So, um, yeah. So, okay. Scavenger mission here. As you know, all scavenger missions do require us to go out and find items. Sometimes it's a bunch. Sometimes it's a little. In this case, it only requires three, and it actually zooms us away to a blaster battle in a galaxy far, far away. And look at this. We actually just simply throw a bunch of nades at these guys, and that does most of the tricks for us. We do take out a few with the pew pews. Up top, they're a little bit out of our... Oh, no, look at that. A little Montana to Rice up there. Ooh, an old school football reference. Ha, ha, ha. That's right. I'm not old. I don't I don't uh, talk about old things. I'm young and hip. Right, man? Yeah, I'm groovy. All right, <laughs> moving along. We've taken out all of the indicated people in that blaster battle, and then we've gone up and collected the couple of items they left behind, which then returned us back, and we can jump for joy as we have completed our scavenger mission. So next up, we've got ourselves a ghoul brick. This one happens to be pretty easy, actually. There are three flags scattered throughout the area that need to be raised. One of them requires you to use the voles. The second one requires you to activate a BB-8 rotary panel. So that's right. Come on, round hound. Come on down. Look at that. We've got, oh, lift it, lift it. And the third one is actually plugged up. So we're going to go ahead and pull out one of our favorite grapplers. And look at her go. Spam that button until that flag's a-flying. Once all three are lifted, you will get that gold brick. Next up, race number two, which is just right down the way here. So we've targeted that, and we're going to go ahead and follow our blue guide stud trail. And look at that. It takes us right back to kind of where I believe this is pretty close to where we melted through that gold wall there. So, again, you know, there's, there's definitely things that are sequential here, things that need to be done before other things will become available. And, uh, you know, we couldn't have started this race without melting that gold wall, right? And now we can't, couldn't have done that race out on that island without completing this race. So uh, definitely an order of things. And uh, I'm kind of wondering if it's maybe a first order of things. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> see, what, see what I did there? All right. We, uh, we got a race. We're using the old speeder. And we actually like this guy quite a bit. It's uh, fast enough. And it even has the turbo button, but it's not too squirrely, so it's very controllable, and that's very important to us while flying or driving in a race. But uh, we got that completed. Next up, we have ourselves another carbonite brick. This one actually requires a first-order terminal hacking. So we've uh, pulled out old FN2199. Of course, Finn will do the job for you as well. There's a couple of characters that will handle this. 
But once you match up that Stormtrooper, it opens up the door, and look at that, we've got ourselves a Carbonite Brick, which also came packaged with, that's pretty sweet, a Gold Brick. So we're racking things up. We're actually getting not quite to the home stretch, but we're getting towards the end of things here. We're certainly over the halfway point. And all right, you probably noticed this TIE Fighter crashed in the trees here with four grapple plugs. And just to the right of where this is, there's actually three willing citizens that will, uh, if commanded correctly, by Princess Leia will go ahead. I guess it's General Leia, isn't it? Well, isn't that what she goes by now? But anyways, we'll, we'll tell them what to do. They listen to us and go brick for you. That's right. All right, next up, we got another gold brick. This one is going to require the agility ability and also the use of a staff. So the perfect character for that's going to be Ray. But first up, we need to do a butt slam and build up this bouncy thing down here on the far right side. But uh, yeah, once that's built up, go ahead and target the hole in the tree with your staff. And once we've plugged it, giggity, we'll go ahead and get our spin on. That's right. Booyaka shall spin all the way down and around and grab that gold brick. And yep, don't be fooled by the character standing up on the hill there. They're just actually trying to solicit some money from you. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I never really thought about those guys being, you know, solicitors. That's kind of what they are. They're like, hey, man, give me some money. I'm just standing here. Come on, man. Give me some money. I'll, I'll work for studs. <laughs> oh, man, I may have just opened up a can. I did not want to open up. All right, moving along. We got ourselves a resistance mission. Now, keep in mind that this is a character-specific mission, so you will have to pull out somebody like Leia. There's a C-3PO. There's a handful of characters that will get the job done for us. But, uh, yeah, once we activate it, we actually have to fly out over the water here. And it's another one of these microfighter battles. Boy, this one, I'm pretty sure this one takes, like, at least an hour and a half. I, you know, I shoot these guys a, good, a guajillion times. That's right, a guajillion. Look it up. It doesn't exist. So, there. And, <laughs> anyways, we're moving along. We're getting through these guys. Pew, 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 pew. Just die already. Oh, look at that. I'm doing parkour, parkour. Oh, that's right. I did a little heel flip or something over that dude. But, uh, yeah, lots of bullets need to fly into each of these guys. And, uh, you know, ramming them might help. It seems to. I mean, when you, when you hit them, they seem to flash red. But I don't know if it does any damage. There's no meters or anything. That, that might be a helpful thing, too. Like, you know, I was complaining earlier about these guys and how many shots they take. But, you know, maybe if they had a meter that we could kind of tell, you know, that might help smooth things out a little bit. Look at that. She was going for a little um, a mid-battle swim there, and I left a little loading scene there. Shame on her and shame on me. Actually, no, it's fine. Swimming's awesome. Like, I've been doing a lot of that lately. It's summertime. It's hot. You got to cool off somehow. Next up, we find ourselves... Ooh, it's another BBA or Round Hound mission here. Oh, look at that. It's a challenge. Yes, of course, we'll accept your challenge. And this is another one of those where you have to smash as many of these containers. Well, not as many as possible. You have to smash all of them in the amount of time given. Each time you smash one, a 20-second timer gets reset, and you have that much time to find the next one and smash it. So... Basically, uh, my best advice is to duck and cover and uh, just kind of be aware of that they're all in groups of three. So make sure you take out all three each time you smash on. So, all right. Once you get that complete, next up right here, right alongside the river bank here, we find ourselves a nice little dive pool. So kind of ironic. There's a dive pool within a dive pool, huh? But hey, look at that. We won't complain. There's a carbonite brick and a gold brick inside. We'll go ahead and tuck those into our now drenched trousers and we'll move on to the next one which happens to be a gold brick Ooh, this is a fun one this one we actually get to ride a zip line and a little little fun little uh fun fact for you my son actually went zip lining reese htg reese went to a zip line park last week without me can you believe that i mean i guess i was on the river floating without him but that that's beside the point he went and did something cool without his old man so shame on him so he's actually been zip lining and i've never been you know i've been down like a short little fun little man-made you know homemade zip line but nothing awesome like you know going through trees and woods and stuff like he did it's pretty pretty stinking cool if you ask me we'll have to Maybe do that as a family and maybe even make a video out of it. But, uh, all right, hey, I'm way behind here. This next gold brick is up the same path that we went up to find the old top of the zip line. And it actually requires the force. We're going to go ahead and manipulate five of these little shrubs and grow them up into giant shrubs. 
And they actually go from little ugly ducklings or sproutlings up into very pretty, pretty flowerlings. So uh, the first three are down below. The top two, or the last two, are up atop right before you go through the walkway. One on both sides of the path. So boo ya ka -show. Here's the final one. And look at that. Go break. We'll take it. And look at that, we're getting to the end of this little peninsula here. And in fact, there's only one more carbonite brick here before we go island hopping. And we'll we'll have some fun doing that. This one's actually pretty easy. It just requires a character that can smash through a cracked wall. And in this case, we got old FN2199 already equipped with his baton. And he gets his booyah kashow on and busts on through. And we'll go ahead and collect that gold and carbonite brick. Thank you very much. And all right, I run around and try to look for something down here, but... Nothing too entertaining, so I end up targeting. What do I find? What do I find? What's what? What do I have? Oh yeah, it's the race. It's that one race that we that wasn't there earlier. It was, but it was it was only there in ghost form. So I guess it was there in spirit, you could say. But we'll go ahead and we'll make our way back out of this little area. So feel free to switch to a character with the agility ability and climb that rock wall there, or be lazy like me and use the old elevator up. We have done that, and now we're uh, backtracking on down. And we'll have to go right down to the pond area, right where, oh, that's right. Ooh, I, I got excited. I was like, ooh, a second chance to use the zip line. And it turns out you can't bail off it at any point. And look at my hand. It's still smoking. That cannot be good. Although Luke has an artificial hand, though, so that might work out just okay. But although it was the wrong one, or maybe they indicated that, oh, oh that, I might have found a little glitch there. I want, I'll have to go back and look. I wonder if his artificial hand was the hand we were sliding down on, and if it was actually flesh color. Hmm? I'll have to go back and look. All right, the race. It's on, and we're going to go ahead and get things rolling. And I'm not positive. I do believe my notes say that you have to use Ray's speeder for this. So Ray's speeder is the big red vehicle we are using right now. You should have access to it, assuming you've completed all that we have so far. In fact, I know a lot of you are just watching these to watch these. You guys beat me through it and already got your platinum or got all your G. I can never remember. 10,000 G seems like a lot of G, but is it 10,000 G? You guys are supposed to comment down below and let me know on the last video, and I never got no confirmation on that, so shame on you guys. I still don't know what I'm talking about. And it's all your fault. No, I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll look that up so I know what I'm talking about. But all right, race complete. We didn't even have to do it again or nothing. It was pretty simple or easy peasy, as we like to say. And next up, a little lesson on swimming. So, yeah, if you are not a good swimmer, do not bail off your boat or vehicle, watercraft, and uh, don't don't bail off it in the water. Otherwise, you will drown and you have to spawn wet right back where you started and repeat the process. So we've done that. And now we are all the way across. You'd think somebody with as high a metachlorian count as as, you know, Luke has. You'd think that he would be able to swim, but apparently he maybe all those metachlorians are, are not. Maybe they make you sink. Maybe they're heavy. I don't know. But uh, all right, on the other side of the island that we've, uh, well, so we did a couple things here. And you might have to go back because I was flapping my yapper. But uh, we got a couple of gold bricks out on that island. One required the grapple, and the other one, I don't even remember. It's so long ago. I mean, it was like two days ago. Uh, at least it seemed that way because I've been talking this whole time. <laughs> all right, next gold brick is in the water. And, ooh, Leia yeah, can swim a little bit, or at least I was close enough to the bank that she didn't respawn way back over there. Thank goodness. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do a butt slam right here, uh, right next to the boxes on the pier. And look at that. We've actually built ourselves a nice little fishing pole. We're going to have to use the foals to go ahead and manipulate that rod and reel. Giggity. And look at that. We'll pick up the gold brickety, too. Woohoo! Speaking of the force, we're going to need that, too, to go ahead and shake up this box a little bit. And it drops a gold brick right on our noggin. In fact, we're still flashing. What's up with that? Ooh-wee. What's up with that? What's up with that? Wait, wait a minute. We got nothing left. What's up? What's up with that? Is that the end? Really? It happened that fast? Holy cannoli. Taco Donna? Donna! That's right. Taco Donna. That's what we should be calling this level. And look at that. All right. I apologize. Terrible wordplay. I, I don't feel like this is one of my best videos ever as far as commentary goes. But you know what? It wasn't terrible either. And we are at the end. I successfully made it to the end. That should be worth noting in itself, I would think. But uh, hey, you know what this screen means. That's going to wrap it up for LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens Taco Donna Free Room. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And hopefully you used the quick links and got through to all these collectibles and didn't have to listen to the entire 
nonsensical half an hour that I just provided for you. But if you did, hey, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, or simply drop us a comment down below and let us know what you thought about this video. Uh, maybe I need some more sleep. I don't know. Maybe I was funny. I, you let us know. And uh, hey, you know, another thought too. Somebody suggested the other day that we double down with our videos and that we actually provide videos with no commentary as well as videos with commentary. My response to that was, why not use the mute button? And then it gets the job done. But his response back in this particular case was he liked hearing the game sounds and liked hearing all the stuff that went with it. So I don't know if that's worth it or not. You guys let me know down below. That's your homework assignment for today. Let me know if you guys think we should include commentary and non-commentary versions of each of our videos or if you think the mute button gets that done. All right, speaking of getting it done, we got this one done. As for me, that's going to do it. As always, until next time. Oosh. Oh, yeah.